Don't forget to You wanted to discuss something? At the Council, you mentioned artifacts were needed to undo the curse. Hmm. But I can't look for them now. I can do that. Why? I have my reasons. Tell me something. Did you notice? Not all the ghosts were aggressive. Yes. Most just disappeared when they touched the aura of a living person. I think the curse corrupts the ghosts of the Fallen and turns them into Draugrs. Is that the Witcher's professional name for wraiths? Draugrs are demons of war. They arise at sites of exceptionally vicious, bloody battles. Their bloodlust and hatred in condensed form. Can you kill them by conventional means? A silver sword is enough for a Draugr. But as long as the curse remains active, new ones will arise. The soldiers' ghosts are the key. If I could turn the tide of the battle... For that you'll need symbols of war belonging to those who fell in battle. Hatred, death, courage and faith. All artifacts must be magically active and connected to the fallen or they won't lure the ghosts. Right. I'll look around. Finding two will be enough. Get the symbols of hatred and death and leave the rest to me. I'd prefer courage and faith. Don't fuss. I'll see what I can do. Cecil seems to know a lot about the area. Know anything about blood curses? Do you? We're dealing with a fourth level curse, also known as the Curse of the Archmistress. Well, well. I'm impressed. Thing is, until now I thought it was only a myth, that such a curse couldn't be cast. You thought wrong. There are six confirmed cases of this curse being inflicted. What about confirmed cases of it being lifted? One. Achieved by a team of sorcerers led by Archmistress Francesca Finderbear, hence the curse's other name. Sabrina Gleverzig was on the team. Small world. That's not all. The curse investigated by Francesca and Sabrina was designed to end the Tyson dynasty, the rulers of Kovir. They were cursed by Scarlet Rodelega, a complete madman, but very talented. An eclipse and wraiths also accompanied his curse. So Sabrina's curse is just a knockoff Rodelega? Exactly. What happened here three? Henselt attacked Edern, but met his match. Nobody won that war. Sabrina Glefesig got into a comp. Fireballs turned the battlefield into a flaming tomb. Henselt accused Sabrina... And Sabrina cursed Henselt. I think so. I suspect the curse got out of hand because of the circumstances. Circumstances? The stars weren't right, wrong phase of the moon. There's always an excuse for simple bungling. She placed the curse while burning at the stake. Her hands and feet nailed to a wagon wheel. I'd say she did a good job considering. Can Francesca's experience help us? Certainly. I know the symbols and... Care to explain? I'm the one risking my neck. You'll have to relive the battle and change its course at the right moment. I don't know exactly what will happen. Nobody does. Huh. I'll look for those art... I'm good for now. I'll let you know when...
Cecil, do you know anyone who fought in the... I did. Did you fight here at Vergen? Of course. Philippa claims you know a bit about the battle. That old kook insult, called king by some. Thought that Adernians were bumpkins who'd ship bricks as soon as it... Why did he attack Edern? According to Hensult, Upper Edern is the ancient legacy of the Kedwini crown and must be returned to the mother country. Brazen farter. That brazen farter had a point. If you read some history, you'll know that 300 years ago this land belonged to Kedwin. Lord of Cramp! 700 years ago, the elves reigned here. And a million years ago, these lands were the domain of the worms. If things worked that way, every king could invade a neighboring land and claim his right to do so because an ancestor took a dump there. All right. Hensel wanted to conquer Upper Edern. What then? He rolled in, got hammered, and rolled out. Cecil, that doesn't help me much. It wasn't a battle. It was a slaughter. If I try speaking of it, I'll see it all again. I don't want... The ghosts of the Fallen fight in the mist. They turn into horrible creatures called Draugrs. Edernians, Kedweni, men, elves, and dwarves too. Bloody hell. No peace even after death. I want to help them, but I need to know more about the battle. Very well. Listen. A beautiful day that grew hot later. Very hot. When van der Grift attacked in the afternoon, he sent the Dun Banner at the fore. Many of our lads shit themselves at the mere sight of their standard. But we had a surprise of our own. Under the cover of night, we prepared fire pits. Our archers lit them up at the right moment. I still can't believe we managed to fool their scouts. If it wasn't for that ambush, we wouldn't be speaking today. They likely wouldn't be in Upper Edern at all. We decimated the Dun Banner, but that was only the beginning. Siltkirk was our commander. Everywhere he appeared, the Kedwenis gave ground. He wreaked havoc among them. Hearts rose at the mere sight of his armor. Then, Van de Grift himself entered the fray. Seltkirk met him in the middle of the field. In the end, Van de Grift killed Seltkirk. A terrible death that sent the Adernian ranks into disarray. I thought it was the end of us. Then the sky fell, as if the stars themselves had decided to avenge the death of a great knight. Fire covered the battlefield. Nobody sought the enemy. They were all looking for somewhere to flee. Yes, there were no more friends and enemies. Only the living and the dead. They say it was the doing of a Kidwini sorceress who wanted revenge on Vandergrift. Could be true, as Henselt had her executed right after the battle. You captured the Dunbanner standard? Hensel's choice troops, and not a one survived. The visitor sent them to their deaths, refused to give them reinforcements. He was a monster in human form. The men of the Dun were real swaggerers. Killed a lot of our lads, but for every Dunner, there were seven Adernians. They had no chance. Aye, we captured their standard. We buried what was left of them in the crypts beyond Vergen. Their standard lies with them. Worthy foes are to be respected, even in death. I'm going to need that standard. Did you see the duel between Seltkirk and Vandergrift? I stood half a furlong from them. Never seen a fight like it. Probably never will again. They'd already met once, at a jousting tournament in Ard Craig. Selkirk won there. He beat on the visitor so hard he broke his sword. Selkirk was a true knight. The last of his breed. Vandergrift was so pissed off after that tournament he hanged the smith who made his sword and ordered a special one from a sorcerer. I bet he cut down Selkirk with that new sword. Vandergrift is dead. What happened to his sword? Saskia's got it. Good thing too. Only her hand contained the hatred enchanted in that sword.